Okay, so FedEx just dropped off the Glypho home test. The Glyphosate home test. This is from the detoxproject.org Abraxas Labs Warminster, Pennsylvania. I'm going to test tap water right off the bat actually this will be well water and with everything else you gotta use uh, distilled water for the test so just plain water won't require anything but the water so I'm almost nervous about doing this here we go tap water. File number two has the liquid already in it. Let's get that and turn that upside down. Alright, that's close enough. Okay. The water is now in vial number two. So, now, shake for 30 seconds. Okay. okay. In a real lab right here. So this is vial number three. Vial number three contains a small amount of liquid reagent. Cap and shake 30 seconds. Allow to sit for 10 minutes. Okay. Alright, this is where I screwed up last time and I put too much of this into this. It's supposed to be six drops. That purple right there is the the reagent. So you have to make sure you get it all off. Tell you what, it still doesn't look that much darker. So now I have to wait ten minutes. All right, so ten minutes. This is up. Here's the vial number four. So, time to insert the test strip. Okay, here we go. Now, wait 10 minutes. Catch you in 10 minutes. Okay, I've got the test results here and good news. Doubt that, sh is that showing up or not? I don't know if you can see those two lines right there. Anyway, it says if, if they're the same color, if they're the same, uh, if one line isn't darker than the other line, then non-detect. Non so, no glyphosate in our water. Woohoo! Water, we're okay. Now, now for the test I've been dreading. Beer.